I'm only on the second exercise. This is fine. Everything is not fine. This is not happening. My abs are warmed up. I don't want to say they're on fire, but they're definitely medium rare. Welcome back to another installment of Kayla tries a popular workout routine and most likely will fail miserably. Join me, won't you? Today I'm going to be trying Redmond Rock's workout routine. I mean, he looks incredible. Whatever he's doing, he must be doing it right because we clearly don't look the same. So why not give it a try? Also, his workout routine is blowing up on TikTok. So naturally, as a millennial trying to fit in with the cool Gen Z kids, I had to give it a try, you know? I, I give in to peer pressure, so I'm going to try it because I want to be cool. Too. If it's not your first time on my channel and you've seen any other of my workout videos, you would notice that I have upgraded to not wearing a big baggy t-shirt. I used to be very self-conscious about working out in tank tops, sports bras, anything other than a big baggy t-shirt to hide myself. And I'm still self-conscious, but I'm trying to get into that mindset of like, who the f cares? Like if I sit down and I have rolls, like who cares? Like who actually cares? We are literally on a giant rock in outer space. Stop caring what people think about you. I've also just been missing out on wearing the cutest workout clothing, which by the way, both of these are from Aerie. These are their high-waisted, offline high-waisted real me leggings. They're so comfy, they're buttery soft. And then this is also one of their offline sports bras. This is like a ribbed one and the color is like a, like a charcoal gray kind of color. If they're still available, I'll link them below. They're the best. I'm not affiliated with Aerie. This is not sponsored, but I just, just love Airy. Okay, it's time to get into the workout. Bretman starts with a lot of stretching, so I'm gonna do that first and then we'll get into the workout. This next stretch, I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. He makes it look so easy, but again, he's also shredded. He probably works out seven days a week. Um, and I do not. Naturally, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna cross my fingers that I don't tear my hamstrings live on camera. <laughs> How are we doing this? I need better instructions, God. Okay. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna happen. Oh my God, wait, <laughs> wait, I did it. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Wait, is he more flexible than me? His shoulders did not lean from that. How in the world? Okay. Oh, I can kind of do it. I'm gonna try one more time the other side. Okay, ready? Please tell me why I look like a piece of roadkill right here. Like I literally look like a squirrel that crossed the road and got hit by a car. Cute. I think I'm tighter on this side because I can't even find my hand. Oh, there it is. I'm cheating a little bit. Okay, I think, I think I'm all stretched out. All right, let's move right on into the workout. You know, I was gonna take some pre-workout for this. However, I have a doctor's appointment in an hour. I was not about to roll into the doctor's office and then take my vitals and my heart rate be through the roof and then, then think that they need to order me an EKG. Um, so we skipped on the pre-workout and we're just, we're just winging it. I would consider myself to be pretty strong, but you know, I'm not gonna lie. If someone came up to me and said, your life depends on it right now, do 50 push-ups without stopping, I would say, you know what? It was a good life I lived. You know, I'm ready to just. So I did learn a little bit of a life hack. I learned that if you're having a hard time with your push-ups, whether that being, most of the time people have a difficult time bringing themselves back up. So really working those triceps to like lift themselves back up. You use a resistance band around your arms right here and it helps you when you go down, it gives you like a recoil basically to come up a lot easier. I have been doing that method and it is fantastic. Basically you put the band up high like this like that and then you basically go down for your push-up and we're gonna see um how many we can do i'm not kidding it makes the push-up so much easier and it's such a great life hack i'd rather do them like this than doing like knee push-ups you know then he does diamond push-ups i don't know if i can do them with this thing but we're gonna just Try it. Oh, that's gonna be hard. I hit on it. I'm stuck. Ow. Ow. 
I got stuck. I couldn't come back up with the band. Okay, we're gonna try it without the band. If I can't do it, I'm going to the next exercise. How in the heck do I have to be out more? Oh, hell no. This is not happening. <laughs> okay. We'll count that as half a one and move on. Now I'm moving into the most popular part of his workout routine, which is his absolutely not ab challenge. So I'm starting with 20 crunches. All right, moving on to the in and outs. Okay, here we go. I really gotta stop doing only leg day at the gym. I need to work other muscles. Moving right along into a 60 second plank. Also guys, I had Chipotle for dinner last night. So if you can see food baby, mind your business. Okay, just mind your business. In the 60 second plank, now I'm doing 20 side to side planks. Everything is not fine. All right, time for some mountain climbers. This was a bold workout to do at 8 in the morning. I underestimated how difficult this workout was going to be. Um, so anyways, this is fine. We're almost done. I can do this. Last exercise is just holding your feet off the ground about six inches for a minute. It's kind of like a reverse plank, but you're lifting your feet up. So not really like a reverse plank. I don't know why I said that. That just about sums it up for Bretman Rock's workout routine, including his absolutely not workout. Honestly, if you're looking for like a fast pace, straight to the point, working on your core and really, really, really working on your core to the point where like you start shaking and you feel weak and your abs are on fire, this is the workout for you. As always, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Stay around for a while. You might as well. I mean, you watch this video, might as well subscribe. And I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for 50,000 subscribers. My mind is still blown. I cannot believe there are 50,000 people that have at one point watched me or seen my face on the internet. That is so crazy. Thank you guys so much. This has been such a fun journey and I cannot wait to continue to grow my channel and just make more videos for you guys. It's so fun. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.